Hello everyone. My name is Sherry. I'm with Palette to Palette and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to assemble our um, candlesticks. So this file, if you have your own laser and you're interested in this file, this file is available in our Etsy shop and it comes with three different sizes. I think they're four, six, and nine, I think. Um, let me see the other two. Yep, there are two over my shoulder here um, that are on the shelf. Those are the, that's the middle size and, and the tall size. And then this is the smallest one. So um, I, I believe they're four, six, and nine. Um, but I'm going to show you how to put these together. This is probably, it looks simple. This is one of the most difficult ones that I have because you have to line up three slots down here with three slots up here. So let, let's do it. So I painted it first. So I'm ready to go there. And the one that we're going to put together today, I've painted, um, a, a painted white because I already have the black set and I already have a cream colored set. <clears throat> so now I'm going to do um, the small one in white, so I'll have that as well. You can order, the, you can purchase the file, which is a digital download on Etsy. You can also um, purchase blanks from me on Etsy as well, and I will cut them on my laser. Uh, and you can also order the finished products from me. So if you are ordering the blanks, then you're going to want to follow along with this instruction video as well so that you know how to put it together. Um, and obviously the link to this, um, to my YouTube channel is included in the file after you purchase um, the file so you can see how to put them together. So the first thing that, um, that I'm going to do is create the three layers on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that in this video. Yeah, right here. So there's three layers on the bottom, and then there's two layers on the top with um, with a rim, with a rim around it, so that it's got um, a trim piece. Okay. So the the smaller one with the three holes is the bottom. Okay. The larger one is the top, and you're going to need a solid piece that is the same size as that, and the trim piece okay so the larger ones are the top the small one is the bottom because we're going to layer these so you've got <clears throat> three different sizes of circles okay see how these are three different sizes so we're going to just center 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 okay so I'm just going to start with the bottom pieces and I'm going to put glue all over that one and just eyeball the center of it. Give it a little bit of pressure. Let this wood glue dry. This is just tight bond wood glue. I buy it in the gallon jugs and then I pour it in, in this because it's easier for me to dispense out because I use a ton of it. And then you're going to do the same thing with this piece and you're just going to put glue on the back and then center that on here <clears throat> okay now with the top piece don't do anything with this one yet but you can glue the rim to the solid piece Excuse me. So I'm putting some glue on the back of um, the rim or the trim piece. And I'll glue that to the solid. And I just noticed that my paint job was not ideal because I forgot to go around the edges of some of these um, to, to lighten them up. I did the trim piece, but I didn't do that. So, <coughs> excuse me, tickle in my throat. Don't judge me on my paint job today. <laughs> Tickle in my throat. Okay, now, one thing that you're going to want to make sure 
is that all of your um, spindles are going the same direction because they are different from top to bottom. And the way that I built my other ones, um, the, the larger um, portion was at the bottom. So I'm going to put some glue inside these three slots. And put my three spindles in there. And I painted both sides, but it doesn't have score marks on both sides. Okay, you can only score on one side when we're in the laser, unless we flip them over and <clears throat> run the program again. But just put your put it in um, your holes so that your score marks are all facing outside. Okay, you can see the little score lines in there. And this is this is the hard part, but I'm hoping this is a little easier. We painted one side of this. This is actually the side that you want down <clears throat> because that's the side you'll see. This gets covered up with this. Okay, after we after we get them lined up. <clears throat> so you want your painted side down. And Try to figure out which way. Okay, so I had um, the straight line and then two, or the straight slot and then the two angled slots. That's the way that they are <clears throat> in here. No, it's not. That's my straight slot. See how they, they look the same? So that's the way that I want to apply this, <clears throat> but I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I don't need to, but I'm going to put a little bit kind of on the edges so it'll catch. And then I'll make sure that there's some on the tops when I put that on there. <clears throat> so this is how we're going to line these up. I'm trying to get all three of them in here at once was a chore the last time I did this because I didn't follow my own instruction. See, that was so much easier. And I had already glued this to that. Well, that was a little more difficult because <laughs> I couldn't see what I was doing. So this works much better. So don't glue that to the top base until you've got it in. So now I can put a little bit more glue and make sure that it's glued directly to this. So those came up and they're flush with the rest of the board and then I'm just going to put this on there. And then it is an adorable candle holder that we just made from laser cut wood. Okay and so this is another finished, this is the finished one um, that I painted in black. And these are these are pretty cute and very elegant. They're very elegant looking. I'm going to I'm going to touch up the paint job on this one after it um, dries all the way so that all of my edges are um, you know the off off white too. So let me get that. Uh-oh. <laughs> it came apart cuz I moved it too much. And I got to put it back together. Uh, right there. Nope, see I can't I couldn't see there. Okay. All right. I'm going to put some wood glue or something on that to let it <laughs> let it dry. <clears throat> and we're going to Finish up the paint job on that, and it'll be good to go. Okay, so this that's how you do the candle, the candlesticks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Even though I coughed most of my way through it, my paint job was incomplete, <laughs> but it's still a good assembly video. It shows you how to put those candlesticks together, and they look very nice when they're done. Um, like I said, you get a, the set of three different sizes, um, so you can tear them. Um, they look great on a mantle, windowsill. They'd even look great as a table centerpiece with um with a three inch um, or four inch candle <clears throat> on the tops of them 
and they'll go great with some of my other um, home decor files um, and blanks that I sell too. So don't forget to check out my Etsy and see what's available if you have your own laser. Um, I've got, I think, 85-ish files on there now. Um, working on that every day. So if you have any suggestions, let me know of something that you'd like to see me create. Um, and we'll chat later. Make sure you keep watching. Bye.